Well, it was basically, um, a lot of it is to do with my mum and dad, because they come from Barbados. And uh, when they came over to England in, uh, in the late 50s, they basically brought their sound of the Caribbean to their home. So I was exposed to the music that my mum and dad brought over, but my dad, more than anyone, was the one that went to the record store, bought like, a lot of funk and soul and R&B music uh, to the front room. And I'd be like eight years old and I'd like, listen to this music and my mum and dad's friends would be dancing and having a good time downstairs. And, and I kind of got disturbed because we were supposed to be asleep at that time, being eight years old. So we came down, I came downstairs on the banister and I see them all dancing to James Brown and stuff. And my dad saw me at the banisters and he's, he's, he's kind of almost shouted at me, go to bed or why don't you come downstairs and put these records on so it frees him up to go to be the entertaining the host. I've never planned a set. I've just had an abundance of music of which I would like to play and then basically feel my way to, to, to create that initial party. Because it, I find that if you plan something, it never, it never works out. If you think, oh, this is going to work really well in, the, in 45 minutes into my set, well, half of those people could be at the bar or not even in, in the party yet. So therefore, that moment that you're thinking that you're going to be creating as a crescendo or something which you're going to take to the next level won't happen. Oh, yeah, I, I really feel if you're going to make music, and especially now, you can give so much more. So if I just released all my music just on, just on a CD, out of the 25 tracks that I had made, you'd only, on the CD format, you can only get 14 tracks on it or, or 13 tracks, and the other tracks would be sitting there doing nothing. So on the USB format, you're, I was able to basically give you all of that music 